Looks like our iPhone 5 has a severely damaged display assembly. Let's go ahead and begin our entry into the iPhone, starting with our two pentalobe screws, one on either side of the lightning port. Let's go ahead and remove these screws, utilizing our pentalobe screwdriver. In most cases at this time, you'll utilize a suction cup to help free up the display assembly from the base of the iPhone. In our case, because of the damage to our display assembly, our suction cup will not work. We've used a set of our curved tip tweezers to go ahead and pry up the display assembly so we can begin our separation for removal. Once you begin the separation of your display assembly, we utilize a plastic opening tool to continue that separation around the perimeter of the display so that we can peel it back, revealing the phone's internals. With the display peeled back, you're going to notice that the connections are covered with a metal protection plate. Let's remove the three Phillips screws that are securing this plate into place. And this will reveal our connections. Three in total that we can disconnect at this time. And our display assembly should be free for removal. With your display assembly removed from the iPhone, let's recognize that we need to transplant our front-facing camera assembly, as well as our home button to our replacement part. Let's get started first with removing the two Phillips screws that are securing the back plate for our home button. Gently peeling up the rest of this assembly from its adhesive, then peeling up the plastic portion of our home button that's attached with adhesive to our display assembly. Moving over now to the two screws that are securing the back plate for our earpiece speaker. With these screws removed, the back plate should be free. As well as the speaker for the removal. The front-facing camera assembly just takes a little bit of maneuvering to remove it from its housing. Additionally, the LCD backplate can be transplanted to your replacement part as well. There are six Phillips screws in total that need to be removed, one on either side of the phone, as well as two on each side of the backplate securing it into place. The final piece for transplant is going to be the clear front-facing camera housing. Let's peel that up out of its adhesive and make sure that we put it onto our replacement part. Let's begin prepping our replacement part for rebuild, starting with our LCD backplate. Let's position it into place and secure it with the six Phillips screws. Let's begin with our front-facing camera assembly, first with the clear housing put into place. We can now settle in our front-facing camera assembly.
followed by our earpiece speaker. And its back plate, which we will secure with the two Phillips screws. Let's now get started with our home buttons, beginning with the plastic portion, securing it into our display assembly. Followed by the ribbon cable into its adhesive. And then finally securing our backplate for the home button with the two Phillips screws. Our replacement display assembly is now ready for installation. Let's line up our three connections first and settle them down into our motherboard. With our connections firmly in place, we can now bring in the protective cover. And secure it in place with the three Phillips screws. With all of our connections secured and covered, we can now line up our display assembly and settle it down back into the iPhone. And let's secure that display assembly with our final two pentalobe screws, one on either side of the lightning port. 